Okay, this diagram shows an electromagnetic wave. The energy is being transferred along the x-axis here. And it's an electromagnetic wave because you can see the electric field, which is represented by E, oscillating, and the magnetic field also oscillating, which is represented by the letter B. It's a transverse wave because the electric field and the magnetic field are oscillating perpendicular to each other and also to the direction of energy transfer. Okay, so you can see the electric field is a lot oscillating along the y-axis and the magnetic field along the z-axis while the energy is going along the x-axis. Okay, in a vacuum, all the electromagnetic waves, so light, gamma rays, x-rays, and so on, they all travel at 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second, which is represented by the letter C. Okay, this table shows all the different types of electromagnetic waves. Starting on the left-hand side, we've got the radio waves, which have the longest wavelength, which is longer than 0.1 meters. And that also means that they've got the low, lowest frequency and the least energy. On the other end, we've got gamma rays, which have wavelengths shorter than one nanometer, so very short wavelength. And they have high frequency, and they also have the most energy. In between, you need to know all the other electromagnetic waves as well. And in, in particular, you need to know the visible light. So visible light, as you know, can be split into colors of the spectrum, um, where we have red on the left-hand side with the longest wavelength of 700 nanometers, and violet on the right-hand side with the shorter wavelength of 400 nanometers. Okay, so these two numbers, you should know them, okay? Right, so a good way to memorize the order of the electromagnetic spectrum is to use this mnemonic here. Raging Martians invade Venus, using x-ray guns so the first letter can be used to figure out the order of the electromagnetic spectrum starting from the longest wavelength going to the shortest okay calculate the frequency which is given the letter f of em wave which has a wavelength of 400 nanometers so that's the greek symbol lambda there and is traveling through vacuum so firstly uh, the equation for speed of light or speed of air waves is v equals lambda f and for light in particular or em waves we just use c to represent the speed of light especially in vacuum so in vacuum the speed of light is three times ten to eight meters per second and you need to know that and the wavelength here is 400 nanometers i'm going to turn that into meters so the nanometers is 10 to 9 okay times f which i don't know and if i rearrange this get three times into eight divided by 400 times into minus 9 that gives me 7.5 times into 14 hertz as a frequency